So, um, this is my first video where I actually give an update on a confrontation that I've done. Um, I have given updates on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there if you would like to stay updated. But, um, this update's really crazy. Um, so that's why I decided to make a video about this. I also want to do more videos like this, um, so just let me know if this is something that you would be interested in watching. So, another reason why I chose this one to be my first update in a video is because this one the whole situation is just really really irritating if you remember my video from june 9th 2022 um you'll remember that i confronted a 60 year old man named tj we just want to know why you drove four hours today to madison pizza pizza in that video i told you guys that i would update you once i found out his real name However, I found out so much more when I got a copy of the police report. His real name is Joey Thornburg, age 60, of Spooner, Wisconsin. Now, in this confrontation, you can see the police show up at the end, and um, we decided to cut it there. The reason for that is because my interaction with the police was nothing significant. Also, Chris and I gave them a lot of our personal information, and then they excused us. I later found out that Joey was not arrested, however, an investigator was working on the case. Just eight days after that confrontation, the investigator contacted me and let me know that there would be no charges pursued on Joey. Now, I read that police report, so Joey did confess everything to them, and he also confessed on camera to me. So with all of that evidence, they still just let him go. This was frustrating in itself, but now having Joey's real name, it made it even more frustrating and irritating. During the confrontation, Joey had told Chris and I that he had served prison time previously for 12 years, but he wouldn't tell us what for. I've, I've spent 12 years in prison. For, for what? For what? what did you spend 12 years in prison for? She, I was in prison for 12 years. Well, here it is, everyone. He is a registered sex offender charged with with first degree the investigator knew this and he still chose to not refer this case to the da's office his reasoning is because cases like this have too many issues and are difficult to to hold up in court i made him aware of the charges um on stephen from sockville wisconsin and travis biddleman of westfield wisconsin but he said different areas handle these crimes differently he did refer this case to the sex offenders registry's office so i feel like he does care but the big issue here is with the madison court system and the da's office in my opinion they choose not to pursue cases like this but i've seen them put so much more work into very minor cases it is really really sad it's just really disappointing so the point of this video is not only an update on joey um but to, to also spread awareness of the injustice Perhaps with enough public attention, maybe changes can be made that don't work in the predator's favor. If you see Joey in real life, please don't go up to him, don't harass him, don't talk to him. Just be really cautious, especially uh, with your kids around. This guy is very dangerous, you know, having been in prison for 12 years prior for premeditated first degree and then he drove eight hours total to kidnap a child. I do really appreciate the officer that was on scene for this confrontation. He really did everything that he could to charge Joey, at least that's what it seems like um, from the police report. The report also states that the police showed up because a viewer that was in my live stream had called them on us. That being said, the caller claimed that we were the ones in the wrong and we were holding Joey against his will. Let's go back home. Whoever you are that called, just know that the police never accused my partner and I for committing any crime. Nice try though. So other than the person that called, um, as always, please remain safe and cautious and thank you so much for watching. Please let's get this video out there.